Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the large dual radiant element on your range. Over time the element may fail, but it's a really easy job to change it. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the range. Now, once we've done that, to change the element we need to lift the main top. Now our next step will be to remove three screws across the front that hold the main top to the body of the stove and to replace the element we're going to lift that top up and support it in place. You could take it off but it requires removing individual wires from the back of each of these controls and the harnesses are fairly extensive but you will find that you can do it with the lid just lift it up as long as it's properly supported. Now we can just lift straight up on that top. Now with the main top raised and properly supported or securely supported, our next step will be to remove the individual wires from the terminals on the element. Just take note of the location. And if you have a digital camera or smartphone, it's a perfect opportunity to utilize that and take a photograph of it. Remove each of the terminals. If any are corroded or arced, you'll want to replace them. Now with the wire terminals off, our next step will be to remove the single screw on that mounting bracket. And as we do that, we'll want to make sure that we keep that bracket pressed against the top. And then we'll carefully lift that away. And you'll see the little mounting tabs that are attached to the element. We'll need to fit those through the little slotted opening. You may need your needle nose pliers just to squeeze those a bit. We want to make sure that we support both the bracket and the element as we remove that. Slide the element out. So we'll just temporarily put that screw back in. Now our next step is to transfer these two mounting brackets from the old element onto our new one. So we'll either take that to a servable work surface to do that, or you can just lower the main top again and do that work right on the top. Now you'll note that the perimeter of that element has numbers by each of these holes that are on there. And that'll help us line up the two brackets properly on the new element. So just remove the Phillips screw. Then locate the proper hole in the new element. Make sure the bracket is straight and then tighten the screw. We'll now discard the old element and install the new one. Again, we'll 
Raise that main top, support it securely. So now in preparation for putting the new element in, we'll first remove that mounting screw. And again, we'll keep a little pressure on that bracket so that we hold the other element in place. And just lift it away far enough that we can slide the element in behind. Make sure we don't pinch any of the wires. And then we're going to locate those two spring mounting tabs in the holes that we took the, out of the old element. So just press that mounting bracket onto the element, and that will hold it snug. And line up the hole for the mounting screw. And then reinstall it. Next, we'll reconnect all of the wires to the terminals on the new element. And if any feel a little bit loose, just take your needle nose pliers and give them a little crimp. You need to make sure that they're tight. Now with everything secure, we'll remove our support bracket, we'll lower the main top, and then we can go ahead and put the retaining screws in. So now all we have to do is install the retaining screws across the front, and tighten those securely. We're now ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete.